happy Friday, 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 Friday here at Liberty Landing. Tuco's in the shade. He's been running around. He painted and watered. I'm fresh, refresh. Refresh? Think of refresh? We got the Grand Tundra back in action again. Everything should be should be set up just perfect. Uh, I'm here at Jeff and Lower Alabama's uh, Easy RC, RC Plane Repairs. I mean, you, you crack them up, we put them back in the air. And if you don't have time to crack them up, well, heck, we'll crack them up for you. But uh, it should be a good flight. I'm looking forward to it. I'm running a heavier 5,000 in it. But uh, we got winds, blowing about 10, mostly down the runway, so we just got to watch the stall in our turns. <laughs> but uh, shoot, let's get the GT in the air. Let's go flying. Oh, yeah. I still got a little minor dent in the wing. I haven't been able to get it out all the way. I'm letting, just letting natural heat of Alabama work its magic on it. Because I heated it up with the hair dryer. Ooh, I thought I heard something. Like something break. At least I got struts. And to quote the world famous Captain Ron of the boat Captain World, if it's going to happen, it is going to happen up there. A little uh, high speed maneuver. <laughs> and my 5000 is perfect. That's a perfect size battery. I like flying 4000s in this better because to me, any, you know, my motto with any plane, the lighter, the lighter it is, the better it flies. Had a good F-16 flight. Had El Stupido on the landing again, but this time I did get lucky. And I was able to get another landing in. It was perfect, so. But I had help. Tuca was on the runway, and I was a little worried, but I'm not using that as an excuse, but if there was, well, no, there was, no, there was a lack of concentration. There was, a, <laughs> there was a lack of skills there. But to be honest with you, I was more worried about hitting Tuco than getting my plane down. Landing flaps, timer stop. Let's get a touch in. Take that. Get my Draco. Get my Draco practice in. I don't have reverse set up on this. It could reverse. <laughs> he said he says here Draco. Here Draco. The GT is a great flying bird, man. It's in that same class as like your Husky and the and the 17 1800 uh, FMS war or foam high wing birds. It's a stall plane. But it does stuff, it can hover. I'm not a great hoverer. Trim's good, that was sticks off there on part of that little straight low pass. I just want to make sure it flies well. I might bring this plane to the pilot Ryan. I don't know what I'm gonna bring yet, I haven't decided. But this is a good windy plane. Timer stop. And it's one that is surplus right now in the hangar. Time of stop. Time of stop. I don't know why when you can get landings like that with it, but you know, it's just your, you know, the servos. I love the servos, the smooth servos that Hobby King uses in these ABS birds, man. In fact, I was thinking of. I almost thought of parting it out and building an ARF using the servos out of the, my two uh, GTs. I don't know. I can't remember if this is the stock. This I think this is this is a generation two, so this is probably the stock ESC. And my other my other one, I have a uh, whatever ESC Flex is using, but I think I took it out already. It's in my spare ESC box. Or I might have I might have used it on the. Uh, the SIG Cadet, I can't remember. Time remaining, five minutes. There's a lot of drag on the wings there coming down like that. Like I said, we got winds, they're blowing, they're really blowing right around 10, plus or minus on 10. All day long here. Landing flaps, time to stop, time to start, time to stop. I didn't set up the 360, I should have for this. I just love flying this thing, man. Time to start, time to stop. It'll drop fast because it's heavy, so you got it. Like when I'm coming down, man, I'm I'm flaring on the elevator. I'm flaring on that elevator and watching my speed because you have to increase speed, and you can't. 
because it's heavy, you can't really wait till the last minute to pour the coals on to save it. And it'll stall, it'll drop. So you gotta, you know, that's why I'm not flying any slower than that in the turns. Because I have a tendency to like to fly it slow. Now I get it straight enough in the wind, you know, we'll slow her down to a crawl, but I'm not gonna crawl through the turns in the wind. Because that's how I crashed the last time I stalled it. <coughs> Being stupid, I call that stupid. Especially when you got, like right now, there's no breeze, hardly, hardly a breeze, just perfect. Just enough to maybe keep the gnats away. Nope, here are the gnats. <laughs> as soon as I say that, they're like, aha, CO2. Four minutes, landing flaps. Air candy. Now I'm increasing my speed because she's going she's gonna to lose her lift here. I'm just going to fly by. The breeze is picking up. Breeze picked up, so I just I just kind of increased the throttle and just let it let it fly through. I didn't really want to land it on the elevator. I could have, but all right, let's get another. Let's get a landing in this time. Landing flaps. Timer stop. Timer stop. I don't have any mix, but when I hit landing flaps there, because I knew I was going kind of fast, so I put a little down on it. <laughs> it's a fun plane, man. And they have sales on this every once in a while. I bought this G2 when they had it on sale. Because I like the G1 so much. And I like taking this out instead of the flex because I can haul this in the car with one wing on it. So all I got to do is put one, two screws in a clip for the, the strut. Landing flaps. Timer stop. Timer stop. So it's, it's a simple, it's a simple plane to bring to the field. <laughs> that is fun. I'm telling you what, man, it's, it's just, this is just fun. It's a fun plane to fly, and if Draco, I know from what I've seen on the Draco videos, it should fly just as well as this. The landing gear, I, do, I, I didn't check my rubber bands before I flew, but obviously they're strong because they, they rot out pretty quick in the heat. Up. And this landing gear is simple, but very effective. It is extremely effective. I'm going to set my radio down so I don't accidentally do any throttle stuff. There you go. I mean, it's simple, but it's got great suspension, soft tires. The Grand Tundra by Avios. Mine's all cracked up, man. It's been wrecked. I've tried to destroy this every possible way you could possibly destroy it, but it's still, still, still clicking, still ticking, still flying, still fun. And uh, there's my dinghy in the wingy. It's coming out. I'm not, I'm not going to do much with it until, because it'll pop out. That foam's coming out. It's just taking a while to come back to normal, you know, and, uh, uh, every once in a while I'll get a flat tip screwdriver and just poke it in there and push. But I'm trying not to damage it any more of the foam to aggravate it. Because once it, once it pops out more, I'll go ahead and, um, you know, fill in the cracks a little bit there. But there you go, ABO Scram Tundra, a fun plane. It's got a plenty, plenty large battery compartment. It's, an H, it's the good connector. So there we go, we're dead there. Might as well get dead here. Tuco is in the shade having fun. He says, subscribe, join team, let's go flying. <sighs> Jeff is in the sun having fun. And we wish you were here flying with us. We got room for members, man. We need members at the club. We need members on team, let's go flying. One's a little harder to join, but you can join team, let's go flying. Just click that subscribe button. Thank you very much. This is Jeff. Woo!